Good morning, everyone. How are you? Happy Sunday. I hope everyone had a great Halloween yesterday. It's a little quiet around here, but what are you going to do? It just means more candy for me. So, a little while ago, a few weeks ago, I did a little video. It was more of a flashback for me when we used to do Crescent Roll Hot Dogs. And I had so many comments from you guys saying that you either remembered it or you thought it was a great idea for when you're cooking with little children. Because it's something easy enough that they could do themselves. Today I want to take that one step further. Showing you just what you can do with some pre-made crescent roll doughs. You all know from past videos I love pizza. It's one of my favorite things. It can be done so many ways. Literally the only limitation is what you can think of. Today I'm going to do take that and turn it into a crescent roll, but still again make it simple enough for little kids with supervision <laughs> to do. So behind me, my oven is preheating to 375, which is the instructions of the crescent roll. And I've started just undoing a roll and getting it ready. Now, I'm going to be doing these the simple classic way. How every kid almost seems to love their pizza. With just some good old pepperoni and some shredded mozzarella cheese. I also have my one of my favorite pizza sauces here. And these are just quick little things that really kids can handle themselves. Let mom and dad pop them in the oven. And they're making a lunch by themselves that everyone could still enjoy. So, I'm sorry the cutting board is a bit low. And I really can't manage it to get it on cam. I've ordered a lift for this camera so hopefully that'll help but for now we'll do what we can with what we have so I just have my little crescent dough here I'm just gonna put a little bit of sauce down don't forget these are little small things so it doesn't take much of anything we're gonna put some pepperoni and <laughs> I just realized I used the cheese as the lift. So what we're going to do is just put that there. It, not putting a ton of cheese down. It's, it's just for the flavor. You can make these all cheese. You can make them however you want. And that's part of what I love about pizza is you can do anything with it. So these we're just going to roll up, just like that. I know it's not the best of views, but you get the idea. And this is just going to go onto our cookie sheet. I'm going to quickly get the others done, and hopefully by then the oven will be ready, and we'll be able to continue. Now, like I said, I had comments from teachers asking if they could use the video in class to show their kids. I had parents saying, like, thank you for showing me this. It's something we forgot about because it's not something you really think about every day. But with everything going on right now, kids getting stuck at home, uh, being homeschooled, or just not being able to go outside and play with their friends, whatever the situation. It's nice to be able to do something simple and easy. And let's face it, every kid loves pizza. But showing them how to cook something for themselves you know, if they're old enough to use the oven, that's great. But isn't this better 
that they can make something themselves and either constantly asking you or grabbing something that's pre-made and loaded with preservatives out of the freezer that they put in the oven or the microwave. Like here you know what's going in it. You know, you could s maybe they like their veggies, who knows? But throw some of those in here. Do whatever you want. So we've got the first few already done. They're really quick and easy to make. Like I said, I'm just using some pepperoni that I had left over from another video that I did. Which kids would love too, but takes a little bit more work and a little bit more parent supervision. And crescent rolls, anyone can get. They're easy to work with. There's the oven ready. So by the time I've got these other few made, and these are only good for kids. When I made those hot dogs, I forgot how tasty they were. And I'm not a huge hot dog fan. But they were so good. And with that little bit of cheese and bacon that I put in them, we definitely had a home run on that one. I've made them a few times since. So, as I said, all I'm doing, little dab of sauce down. And these don't have to be perfect. Some of the cheese is going to leak out. The pepperoni that sticks out of the edge is going to get nice and crispy, which I like. And these are quick, quick to do. Like I've done well, like five of them so far, six of them there. And they only take like 15 minutes, if that, in the oven. Like, I know the baking directions say to cook them for 15 minutes, but when I did the hot dogs, I found they cooked a bit faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have them in. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes, but I'm going to check them like after 10 or so. I just want to make sure they don't get too browned. And these are going to come out and they're going to be nice and soft and that buttery crescent roll crust it's gonna be you know they're gonna be tasty that's for sure and plus you tell a kid we're having pizza they're gonna love it doesn't matter how it looks so there we go in under 10 minutes we've made our one pack try and get this our one pack of crescent roll hot dog of crescent roll pizzas these whew, we're just gonna pop in the oven like i said for about 15 minutes check them after 10 and give me a little chance to clean up here that's the other nice thing about this so little mess one little cutting board and a cookie sheet so we're going to pause the video here. We're going to wait for these to come out of the oven. And we'll see how it all comes out in just a few minutes. Till then, we'll see you soon. Welcome back, everyone. These have a couple of minutes left in the oven. But I thought I'd take this chance just to remind you all. I am now teamed up with Buy Me A Coffee. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's a simple, easy way to help donate to the channel. It's horrible to put it this way, but these videos cost money. And every once in a while, I spend a bit more on videos than I should. So every little bit helps. I will make sure to put a link down below in the description. So if you feel that this content is worth it, whether it's this video or any of the other videos I've done, feel free and just buy me a coffee so 
I'm looking at these. They're nice. They're golden brown. They're hot. <laughs> There we go. Simple, easy, quick. I'm just going to put a towel down here so I don't burn the counter. And turn the stove off. And you can see they look really good. They're really hot though. So if you are giving these to your kids, let them cool down a minute first. Don't do like I do and rush into trying these because... Between the hot cheese, the sauce, and the pepperoni, I'm going to hurt myself here. Mm. <laughs> I didn't expect a cheese bowl like that, but these are so good. You get that buttery, flaky crust from the crescent roll. The sauce really works well with it. This is, you can use whatever sauce you like. Don't even put sauce if you don't want. And just put the pepperoni and cheese and make them like little cold cut sandwiches. But it is so good. Mm. Oh, the joy of smart homes. I mean, you can't get a timer to shut off. But there we go. Simple, easy, delicious, hot, but really good. Mm. A pizza that your kids can make for themselves. Ten minutes of time. Saw how easy everything was. A little help from mom and dad to put it in and take it out of the oven, but that's it. And who knows? Maybe they'll come up with a filling in here that's really, really good. Could be anything. Steak and peppers like a Philly cheesesteak would be really good in this. Might have to think of that for the next one. So until next time. <laughs> Sorry, watching the dog. He's just jumping around. <clears throat> so until next time. My name is Andrew. I am the 5 p.m. chef. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. And you'll get to know when I come out with more videos like this. For everyone else who's coming back, thanks. Hit that like button, and we'll see you all next time. Have a great day.